Hey everyone, it's Chris here, and I'm making a short video to give you the first impressions that I got from Forza Motorsport 5. Let me start by saying that I was really fond of this game, and of course I'm rocking the Achievement Hunter design on my Ford Shelby 500 GT, a very, very nice car, a very good sounding car too, and I hope you enjoyed this little race on Laguna Seca here while I talk in the background. So, Forza Motorsport 5 has a uh, giving me a very good first impression. Now I'm nowhere near to giving a well-rounded sort of review on the game given how I didn't explore some things such as the multiplayer and from there I can give a much better account of it. But from what I've experienced so far in the single player is this is a good game to own if you're not really totally dependent on the online environment of the rest of the games on the Xbox One. The design and the authenticity are key points to Forza Motorsport and have always been. You can really see the effort that Turn 10 put into the game when it comes to the design of the cars, the photo mode, and the Forza F Vista mode where you can see the interior of the cars and when you're there you can see all the little details, you can see every little button, you can see every little reflection, even every little single stitch on the upholstery that helps solidify the fact that they really did their homework on every single car and they spared no expense making sure that it looked as authentic as possible and I, I really appreciate them doing that now in terms of sound that's another thing that they did very good every single car feels unique in the way that it sounds from when it starts up when it's cycling, when it switches gears, and when it reaches top speed. The Ford Shelby here is a great example of that. I'll let you listen for about a couple seconds. This is a muscle car, plain and simple, and they made sure that it sounded like it. Of course, like I said, another good view of the Achievement Hunter. Um, design on the car, big fan guys, this is what I call the Mark Nutmobile, but um, in terms of design as well, like not just for the cars but for the tracks, once again, they put all the detail they could in here, like Laguna Seca right now looks very, very close, very, almost identical to its real life counterpart, and that goes with uh, the, the rest of the place like um, the Abu Dhabi track, the Bernese Alps and even the Dunsfold uh, Aerodrome from Top Gear. Now Top Gear is also continuing its support for Forza Motorsport 5 and I really appreciate that because those guys really bring a level of lightheartedness and comedy to an otherwise kind of serious game. Now Jeremy Clarkson and the rest of the hosts in Top Gear lend their voices and their talent and even the Stig himself makes an appearance in the game and I enjoy beating his butt even though I know I never do so in real life but like I said their support helps give the game a little bit of personality and uh, the mini games that they apply there as well gives a little break from the regular uh, overtake circuit race now, like I said, I haven't explored much of the multiplayer yet, but I feel that when I do more so of that, I'll be able to give you a more rounded opinion. But I can tell you, though, is that everyone's going to be racing totally different cars. But they made sure that every car felt unique as well as sounding unique. Look at that drive guitar over there. He just, uh, he just went out of there, the, the Detroit police car, and I thought that was kind of neat. But they made every car feel unique, too. Like the Ford Shelby feels like a muscle car. It doesn't have the turning radius that the Audi R8 or my Ford Escort had, but it had the acceleration and it had the feel of it being a muscle car. Like it was supposed to go fast down straightaways. My Audi R8 Quattro really takes corners very well and it sounds really good. It sounds like it has a high cycling engine. And my Ford Escort can take corners very well too. So I'm noticing as I'm going from one car to the other, I'm actually feeling a difference between all of the rest of the the vehicles in the game. So to sum up, they did a great job so far. I'd like to explore the rest of the game before I give something of a rounded review. And I want to thank you guys for listening to this, and I hope to see you um, watching many more of my videos. And I'm going to put this on YouTube as well. Hopefully I get a capture card so I can do any more extended recordings. This is Actual. I'm signing off, and enjoy the rest of the race.